Welcome to 50 Ways to Succeed at Work, where you hear stuff about ways to succeed, even the most well-intentioned colleagues, advisors, careers officers, and HR departments may never get around to mentioning. Welcome to episode 29, Sharer. Why sharing information pays more than hoarding it. Here's a slightly tricky work puzzle to solve. It's Should I share this information with others or keep it to myself? You'll bump into this dilemma at some time in your working life. First, let's get clear there's a difference between data and knowledge. Data's just facts and details. There may be limited advantages from sharing these or holding on to them. In contrast, and far more important, knowledge taps into someone's experience and how they've understood and used the data. It can be tempting to hoard knowledge or data if you believe it'll give others the edge over you, or you worry that if you give it all away, others will think less of you once they've got their hands on the stuff. After all, they say knowledge is power. True, but when you squirrel away knowledge and don't share it, there's almost bound to be a cost to both you and others. When you resist sharing, you don't gain strength from it, you lose it. People soon realise that you're clutching knowledge to your chest. If they need it for their work, you may quickly get labelled as selfish, or worse, not a team player. You may be tempted not to share for different reasons. For example, you're more likely to share if you happen to work in a mentally demanding job, with lots of freedom in how you work. You'll be more likely to want to hide your knowledge if you worry that colleagues will start to rely on you too much, or will keep bothering you with awkward questions. Or you may not share if you feel you'll be criticised. Maybe I could lose my job by sharing. No matter how tempting it is to hoard information, avoid going down this road. In fact, go in the opposite direction by being keen to share and demonstrate generosity and helpfulness. If you do, what can you expect from sharing? Here are just some of the benefits you can expect. Colleagues respect your help and will be more willing to return the favour you become more visible, which boosts your personal profile. You're doing something important. Most employees, in fact 75%, think collaboration and teamwork is important. You're helping to build and retain collective knowledge. Your actions of sharing help everyone to easily search for and find what they need, when they need it. You're helping to make better decisions faster. And finally, you ensure that important knowledge is communicated quickly and reaches everyone. So collaboration is more than putting heads together. Sharing enables you and your colleagues to find better ways of doing things. You learn from collective mistakes and avoid having to repeat them. At work, you'll be learning from your colleagues and vice versa. Sharing builds that sense of community. One of the most significant gains is that you feel part of the team and your experiences help others to grow. Sharing does one other thing you may never have thought possible. It changes your brain. The very act of sharing and learning alters how your brain functions and sets you up to perform even better. If you want to sum it all up in a single thought, it's sharing is gaining. Found something that works and is better than anything else before? Cherish it. Hold it aloft for everyone to see. When you do that, you come across as effective and productive. It gives a real boost to your search for success. So what action am I suggesting? Well, first, reject the approach of my knowledge is power and so I must hold on to it. Secondly, sharing is power, so be generous with it, since work is all about collaboration. And thirdly, Encourage others to share too and learn from each other's mistakes. And my takeaway from all of this is there's more power and gain from giving away knowledge to your colleagues than hoarding it. You've been listening to an episode of Andrew's 50 Ways to Succeed at Work. For more episodes, subscribe free to my regular weekly podcasts. You can catch up on past ones at the 50 ways.site where you can also become a Foundation member with access to e-learning units, transcripts, further reading links and the forum 
where you can ask questions, share problems, and join a growing community of people who seriously want to succeed at work. Thanks for listening, and bye for now, until next week.